to my channel. This time I have a heavyweight amplifier on my table. It's a QSC RMX 4050 HD. The HD means you can uh, operate the amplifier in a safe way at a 2 ohm load per channel. I also want to show the internals of the amp. I call this amp an old school amplifier. And maybe you may ask uh, why I call this one an old school amplifier. Because this amp is still on the market today. I will open the cover and you will see that this amp is the same or a slight update to the classic QSC EX4000 or JBL MPA1100 or QSC MX3000. They both feature double transformers and this amp has toroidal double transformers. Every channel has its own power supply. So amp is opened and here we have the dual power transformers and we have 12 capacitors of 15,000 microfarads for each channel. The complete mainboard you see here is just one channel. We have the same mainboard mounted upside down in the amp. I use this amp for my home theater for my 18 inch SOPs because this amp is able to deliver output power below 20 Hz. Most amps aren't able to do this. They have an integrated uh, high pass filter of around 25 30 Hz, so not very suitable for home theater. I will use the DJ mixer as a preamp because my smartphone's output voltage is not matching the amplifier's input sensitivity. Now I connected all my power resistors around 8 ohms. With these resistors I can measure um, 5000 watts continuous power or 15000 watts of short term power or dynamic power. Everything is connected and I will start the output power test with 1 kHz and continuous output power. So we go until clipping. Clipping is starting, I go back. This looks clean. I take a single shot, take away the power and now we have the screenshot of the amplitude. I will read the peak voltage. So the next test is 1 kHz dynamic power, 20 cycles. There you see it. I'm going to capture the signal now. And there you see, there's a clean signal, there's no clipping. Even in the next cycles there's no clipping, so I will take this as clean power. Now I start the continuous output power test with a 4 ohm load. And now we check if there is some clipping. Here starts the clipping. I go back, I have a clean signal, I take a, a shot. And now we go to the dynamic output power test. And I also drive uh, a 1 kHz 20 cycles into the amp. So clip light is not coming. You see all cycles are the same size. So also the last cycle is pretty clean. You see this? Also clean, no clipping. Now the clipping indicator is working very well. And I de defeated the limiter of the amp. So there is no limiter active to squeeze everything out. So I'm starting to capture a 2 ohm load dynamically. I got it. Stop signal input. I got 94 volts. Oh, 96 volts. I 
I have signal. Oh, it got sturdy. Stop this. My circuit breaker came in with continuous power on two ohms. The uh, protect lamp is coming in. Turn off the amp. I go to the back, check my circuit breaker, turn it on again, and turn on again this amp. So, this is a good protection. This amp is not going up in smoke. So my next test was pretty brutal. I drove a 16 Hz signal into the amp and at 16 Hz we have a peak voltage of 98 volts. 1200 watts for ohms at 16 Hz. Thanks for watching, bye bye.